All right, Shalom. We'll start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Racha Kodash, double honors to the elder apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, the GMS. And I want to say peace and blessings unto the elect, okay? Uh, I was watching uh, the elder apostles, uh, uh, Gabor and uh, Aramla, they were doing a, a live out in the park this was day before yesterday okay and they had brought out um isaiah the 55th chapter all right so um i just wanted to do a lesson on it okay so this is basically a lamb back all right uh and as always you know lord willing there'll be edification in this lesson so without further ado this is isaiah chapter 55 and verse 1 it says ho everyone that thirsted Come ye to the waters, and he that had no money, come ye buy and eat, yea, come buy wine and milk without money and without price, okay? It says, everyone that thirsted, all right? Now, who are the ones that are thirsting, man, all right? And I'll just get a scripture, and it's the book of Romans, chapter 11. And verse um, 7, it says, what then? Israel, okay, Israel, man. The so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, Hispanics, all right? Uh, they're the ones that are, are, are thirsting, okay? They are Israel, okay? And to the brothers and sisters that look like the other nations because we've been scattered, okay? It says, what then? Israel had not obtained that which he seeketh for. Okay? What are they seeking, man? They want to know the truth. Okay? And this is the truth. Alright? They're thirsty for understanding of who they are. First and foremost, who their power is. Alright? Why all this? Okay? Why are we in this condition? Okay, what am I supposed to be doing? You know, how can things get better? Who am I? Okay. They, they're thirsting for the truth, man. Okay, which ultimately is our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. Okay. So Israel, okay. So let me read this again. Romans 11 and uh, 7, it says, What then? Israel had not obtained that which he seeketh for. And that's what they're seeking, man. The understanding. But all of them can't get it, as the scripture is about to say. All right? It says, but the election hath obtained it, and the rest were blinded. According as it is written, the heavenly father, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, hath given them the spirit of slumber. Okay? Eyes that they should not see, and ears that they should not hear, until this day even until this very day okay so let me go back to isaiah 55 and 1 ho everyone that thirsted all right come ye to the waters and he that had no money come ye buy and eat yea come buy wine and milk without money and without price okay so what what is the uh what are the waters okay it said come and buy and eat okay and what it is that we're seeking to eat what it is that we're seeking to drink okay is the bread of life all right um this is then this word is the water okay this word is what cleanses you. This word is what purifies you. Okay? This word is the truth. Okay? So it's a representation. This is the living waters. Okay? So those that thirsted, this is what they need to drink. Okay? As a matter of fact, let me get this in the book of St. John. Chapter 7. Um, let 
And I'm going to start at verse, uh, I'm sorry, not uh, St. John uh, chapter 7, St. John uh, chapter 6, okay? And I'm going to start at verse uh, 32. This is St. John 6 and 32. It says, Then Yahweh Shai said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Moses gave you not that bread from heaven, but my father giveth you the true bread from heaven. Okay? So this is the bread that you're supposed to be eating. Okay? It says, For the bread of the heavenly father is he, okay, because remember I said, Yahweh Shai, the understanding of our Lord and Savior. He's the living water. Okay? He's the bread of life. Okay? And I'm going to get some more scriptures. Okay? But uh, let me read this again. St. John 6 and 32. It says, Then Yahweh shall say unto them, Verily, verily, <clears throat> I say unto you, Moses gave you not that bread from heaven, but my Father giveth you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of the heavenly Father is he, okay, which cometh down from heaven and giveth life unto the world. So who was that? Who giveth life unto the world? Meaning the, the world of Israel, okay? It's talking about our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, okay? He giveth life unto the world, okay? Um, verse 34, it says, Then said they unto him, Lord, evermore give us this bread, then said they unto him, Lord, evermore give us this bread. And Yahweh shall said unto them, I am the bread of life. You see, the Lord is the bread, man. Okay. He that cometh to me shall never hunger. You see that? He that cometh to the Lord shall never hunger, man. Okay. As a matter of fact, I think you got a precept right here. Let me see. Let me put my, uh, bear with me and put my reading glasses on. Um, he that cometh to me shall never hunger. Okay, I think I had that precept wrote down, but I'm not sure. Let me see what it. Um, yeah, this is Saint John four and fourteen. It says, "But whosoever, um, damn madness of Babylon. I don't know if y'all can hear that sirens passing or whatever." Oh, man, we got to get the hell out of here. Ain't going to be no, all this confusion in the kingdom, man. All right. Uh, St. John 4. And, you know what? I'm going to start up a little bit. Um, no, nah, I'll just get straight to the point. This is St. John 4 and 14. It says, but whosoever drinketh of the water... That I shall give him shall never thirst, but the water that I shall give him shall be in him a well of water springing up into everlasting life, man. Okay? And this is the water, all right? This is the bread, okay? When you hear us speaking these words, which are the words of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, okay? We're speaking that, that everlasting, that, that, um, that that uh that water springing up into everlasting life, okay? Which is Yahweh Shai, okay? So let me go back to Saint John six and uh thirty three. It says, "For the bread of the heavenly Father is He, meaning Yahweh Shai, which cometh down from heaven and giveth life unto the world, the world of Israel, okay." Um. Then said they unto him, Lord, evermore give us this bread. And Yahweh Shai said unto them, I am the bread of life. He that cometh to me shall never hunger, and he that believeth on me shall never thirst. Okay? So there you have it, man. All right? You'll never thirst, and you'll never be hungry. Okay? Because this, this word... It is everlasting, man. Okay? Oh, boy. 
It just don't stop. I thought Cinco de Mayo was on the fit. All right. Uh, let me get another scripture. And also in the book of St. John. Chapter 7. And uh, verse... Uh, Boy, boy, boy. Uh, 7 and 38. Okay, because as I read right here in 7 and uh, 35, it says, And he that believeth on me shall never thirst. Okay? So, uh, St. John 7 and... Um, Thirty-seven. It says, "In the last day, that great day of the feast, Yahweh stood and cried, saying, If any man thirsts, let him come unto me and drink.' Okay. Now, does that mean he was sitting there with a, a a cooler full of bottled waters? No. You say." He that believeth on me, as the scripture had said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Okay? So he said, let him come unto me and drink. He that believeth on me. Because you have to believe on the Lord, man. You have to believe in Yahweh Shai. You got to have that faith. Okay? Um, let me see something. Ah, oh, that's okay. I'm not going to get that. But um, it says, he that believeth on me. So like like I was saying, you have to believe on the Lord. And like, like the scripture is saying, you have to believe on him as the scripture hath said. Okay? Not what men say of this world. Okay? But the understanding of this word. Which, matter of fact, if I can find that scripture right quick. Um, uh, roughly paraphrasing, it says, uh, the world cannot receive, uh, the understanding of the Lord, man. Okay. Uh, man, I can't think of where it's at right off the top. Hmm. But it, the scriptures say that the world, uh, they can't receive this word, man. The world of Israel, okay? Two-thirds of our people just can't get it. But as I read in the book of Romans, the 11th chapter, the elect will obtain it, okay? So let me go back. Oh, man, the page just fell right on this. This is uh, back in St. John 6 and uh, 48. It says, I am, the, I am that bread of life. Okay? And it's just one line. Talking about Yahweh Shai. He's that bread of life. Okay? So back in Isaiah 55 and 1, hold everyone that thirsted. Come ye to the waters. What are the waters? The understanding of Yahweh Shai. Okay? The understanding of this word. The living waters. Okay? It says, And he that had no money, come ye buy and eat. Okay? And how do we buy? Alright? Well, let me get a scripture. Because the apostles have brought this scripture out too. And it's the book of Proverbs, chapter 23 and 23. Um, okay, this is Proverbs 23 and 23. It says, buy the truth. Okay, how do you buy the truth? All right, and they went into it. It says, buy the truth and sell it not. Also wisdom and instruction and understanding. Okay, because with all that getting, get understanding. You got to have understanding, man. You can be just like uh, Denzel Washington was in the book of Eli. All right. 
and know the scriptures from Genesis to Revelation, from beginning to the end, but not have understanding, all right? You have to have understanding. There are many people in this world that can quote scriptures and know many accounts of history and all that, but they don't understand what this is about, okay? They don't have the understanding of Yahweh Shai, okay? So let me go back, uh, Proverbs uh, 23 and 23, it says, Buy the truth and sell it not, also wisdom and instruction and understanding. So how do you buy the truth, okay? Because here, uh, Isaiah 55, it says, uh, come ye buy, all right? So how do you buy the truth, all right? And this is the book of Romans. Chapter 12 and verse 1. It says, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of the heavenly Father, Yahweh, by Shem, Yahweh, Shai, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto the heavenly Father, which is your reasonable service. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of the heavenly Father. So this is how you buy the truth, man. By doing this work. Believe in having faith in this word, man. Okay, because if you believe and have faith, okay, faith and belief go hand in hand. If you have faith that this is the truth, you're going to do what this is saying right here in the 12th uh, chapter. All right, of Romans. Okay. And that's what you see the men of the Lord doing. Okay, presenting our bodies as a living sacrifice. Okay, holy acceptable unto the heavenly father which is your reasonable service okay so that's how you buy the truth by doing this work man by doing what's being commanded of us okay that's how you buy the truth man all right um and that's pretty much it uh let me see something because i had matthew the 13th chapter and 44th verse but I'm not going to go into it, I don't believe. Let me see. Um, yeah, I'm going to stop right there. You know, Lord willing, uh, the point was made, okay? And uh, there was edification in this lesson, okay? And maybe I'll do a lesson over uh, St. Matthew 13 and uh, 44, which is that whole chapter is, you know, all the scriptures are good, you know. But that, that scripture going to uh, the kingdom of heaven being like a treasure in the field, okay. But that's a whole nother lesson. And, you know, maybe Lord willing, I'll do a lesson on that, you know, next or, you know, whatever the spirit deems, okay. So... That's it, you know, and I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh, Shai, Ba'ashem, Rechakwadash, double honors to the elder apostles and the elders of Great Millstone or GMS, all right? And I want to say peace and blessings unto the elect, all right? We almost out of here, man, and <laughs> is this we living in beautiful times, man, okay? Because all kind of things are happening, man, all right? So stay strong and, you know, as the scriptures say, he that endureth until the end, the same shall be saved. So, you know, with that, I'm going to say a shallow one.